from Budapest today we are going to go to the airport and we are going to depart to Shanghai and I'll update you on everything else that we do. So what can you do on a 9 hour flight is play children's games. So this is a kangaroo. Yes, 20 points. Guys might be onto something because they are guessing all the Australian animals. That's incredible. Yes. And our food came and we will have the chicken and rice. We have a basic spread, a biscuit, some vegetables, some fruits and arrived at Shanghai airport <music> having a break in Shanghai here you can see that the streets are pretty crowded but the city is quite beautiful if I may say so We decided to walk around the city because we had a 15 hour layover so I got myself an energy drink because another 9 hour flight was waiting for us. To do arrive in Shanghai keep in mind that um, apps like Instagram, Facebook and even Google Maps don't work here so just be careful because you don't want to get lost here. Oh, and by the way, you might not be able to use your regular debit or credit card because they don't allow Visa or MasterCard to pay or to withdraw money. So here we are at the Jade Buddha Temple. We arrived here by chance and not by accident. Um, we found this place while we were walking around because as I said we didn't have access to any uh, app that had a map for the city and afterwards we were slowly heading to the airport because we didn't want to be late for our flight and that was pretty much what we did in Shanghai we had something to eat at the airport and we were ready for our flight Here we are again, first class, not us, business class, not us. So here is the food menu, we had two meals on this flight, we first had dinner because it was already 9 p.m. and then in the morning we had breakfast but I'm going to show you both of the meals so that you can see for yourself what they looked like. Dinner is served, here we have some orange juice, we have some shrimp with the 
potatoes and the cherry tomato. So here we have some water in a cup. Quite a few seagulls searching for food. Look, this one is drinking water. Good evening, Sydney. So here we are. We have the opera house over there, as you can see, and then we have the harbor bridge, and we'll be back here later. We fell in love with Sydney from the very first moment, so we had to see a bit of everything in the first few days over here because we weren't ready to leave it, but we knew that we would be back soon. So this is the Chinese Garden of Friendship. I've already covered uh, this spot on Australia Project on Instagram if you go ahead and search it. And then we went to Wendy's Secret Garden, which is a truly special place. Again, if you want to find out more about Wendy's Secret Garden, go ahead and check Australia Project on Instagram. So now we're behind Wendy's Secret Garden and on the left you should see Luna Park. Uh, that is a popular place for people to go and have fun. And if you keep walking you will get to see the Harbour Bridge and the iconic Opera House. And let's just time travel for a little bit. Here is the second day in Sydney. Uh, we went to the botanical gardens and you will get to see what it looked like there. Oh and by the way there are no entry fees so you can go over to the botanical gardens even if you are on a budget and you don't want to spend any extra money. So from the botanical gardens you can see a little bit of the opera house which is right there. And now let's have a closer look at the opera house. Well, hello Melbourne! We are now at Flinders Street Station. And we will of course go to the Botanical Gardens, because why not? Another free attraction to go to in Melbourne. So we walked around all day and then evening came and we also took a walk to this area and then we went to the CBD. The next day we took the train to Brighton Beach. If you're not familiar with Brighton Beach, there are many 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 
beach house boxes that are very beautiful and they are pretty iconic for this area. Now that we have arrived I was fascinated to find some seashells because there weren't any at the other beaches that we went to. And now let's go to the bathing boxes, there are 82 of them and everyone wants to take the perfect Instagram photo over there and as you can see it was pretty crowded. If you want to get a chance to see a few penguins, you might want to go to St. Kilda Beach because we saw a couple of them over there behind the rocks. And of course we had to grab something to eat and this time we went to Woolies. We even got some bargains, we found some um, items on sale so we got some donuts, some strawberries and some cake. Good morning, Great Ocean Road, here we come. So now we're heading to the Twelve Apostles and I'll show you what's going on. So these are the Twelve Apostles. The weather right now is quite hot and that's very surprising considering the fact that it's been very cold the last few days. Having a Blue Heaven milkshake because tomorrow we're waking up at 3 a.m. And this is the reason why we woke up so early. This morning we got to do a very special thing. We flew above uh, Melbourne with a hot air balloon. I guess we were above uh, 500 meters above Melbourne. And now we're catching the sunset in Newcastle. This city I really love because it is so peaceful and quiet but it is also very beautiful. Also went to Black Butt Reserve which hosts koalas, kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, cockatoos, snakes, spiders, peacocks and so many others. Let's fast forward and get to Byron Bay. Another stop at Woolies because we are heading out and we are leaving Byron Bay. So 
we're going to run to Queensland. Local time is 8.20. Get ready to see Harvey Bay with us. We were here for uh, the days before Christmas and until uh, Christmas Eve and we even spotted some kangaroos. This is the famous Aragon Pier in Hervey Bay and this is one of the longest in Australia, if not in the world, as it stretches for 900 meters. to spot some kangaroos roaming around freely. And here we are at the Hervey Bay Botanical Garden just before we leave with the next Greyhound coach. And so we arrived in Agnes Water. This place was kind of different from what we've seen so far. And this is pretty much how we spent our time in Agnes Water. Can you guess where we're heading next? It's Rainbow Beach. heading to Carlos Sandlo which is 30 minutes away from our accommodation. If you're interested in uh, the accommodation that we uh, got in Australia please DM us on Australia project and we will let you know. At Carlos Sandlo the view is amazing and you can also do sandboarding if you're into stuff like that. It was time for us to leave Rainbow Beach and head to the next destination. So we've arrived in Nusa and we are now taking a walk. You can see a wild turkey right over there and you would also see them up in the trees because they do fly and they do go up and sleep in the trees at night. After a good night's sleep, we are ready for a very beautiful hike in Nusa. Well, we were in a hurry here. We are off to Brisbane to celebrate the New Year's Eve.
We went and checked in at the hotel and then we went to Domino's to get two pizzas. They had two uh, rounds of fireworks in Brisbane, one at 8 p.m. and one at midnight, obviously. But it was nice for the families that have small children and maybe want to experience the New Year's Eve. Here we are on the very first day of the new year in Brisbane at about 1 p.m. As you can see the streets are empty. It was not only the 1st of January but also a very hot summer day so we decided to go to the city botanic gardens and walk around so we don't stay out all day in the sun. On the second day of the new year, we decided to go to Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Honestly, this place is amazing, everyone takes very good care of the animals, you will find lots of native Australian animals, you will even find uh, native Australian birds, snakes, spiders and so much more, but you will also find koalas, kangaroos, Overall, this is a fantastic place to go to because they have so so many animals You can even go and eat over there. There are also lots of souvenirs if you want to grab something for your loved ones And this is why I had the best time of my life here at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary here, if you want to feed the kangaroos, you can buy a pack of food for two Australian dollars. You can also take selfies with the kangaroos, you can pet them. They are very, very friendly and not scary at all. So now we're feeding this hungry kangaroo over here. He's out in the shade, but he loves the food actually. <laughs> behind me because everyone loves the kangaroos here in Australia and we are now saying goodbye to the low pine koala sanctuary and goodbye to the kangaroos had so much fun in Brisbane we had to leave and go for the next location here you can see the accommodation we had uh, in Gold Coast Even though we had to leave Gold Coast, we weren't that sad because we were heading to Sydney. Uh, so we spent 16 hours on the coach and then eventually got to Sydney. And that made us so happy because honestly Sydney has to be one of our favorite cities in Australia. And we couldn't have ended our trip in Australia in a better way. Remember those Instagram perfect photos? with the girls and their hats and their flowy dresses well you actually can't do a photo like that anymore because there are people everywhere and you won't be able to capture the whole opera without someone being in your background you can stop you from taking many many photos here because this is truly an iconic place get ready
ready to be amazed. If you want to take the perfect photo of the Opera House, you just have to hop on a ferry. Uh, we got on the ferry to Manly Beach, but we managed to see the Opera House up close and take a few beautiful photos of it. On this new day we decided to go to Bondi Beach and maybe do the Bondi to Koji Beach walk. We decided to spend our last night in Sydney and in Australia by just hanging around the Opera House and relaxing. That being said, in the morning we checked out from the hotel and we went to the airport. So this was our Australian adventure, don't forget to check us out on Australia Project on Instagram and we hope that we'll be back soon. If you liked the video please give it a like, a share and maybe subscribe to my channel because I've worked hard on it and honestly I put all my heart into it. Thanks for watching, see you next time!